another one here same scenario uh, we see a depreciation of the rent this is a very common thing and uh, a shift of the demand curve we have an increase in quantity demanded and supplied like that let's see identify the exchange rate system this one is a free floating just like we had before so it's just a change of questions so just be familiar what was the original rent dollar exchange rate that was 13 1 is to 13. briefly describe you see it there briefly describe the term exchange rate exchange rate is the rate at which one currency can be exchanged for another as simple as that for example rents to dollars pounds to euro how has the increased demand for us dollars affected the value of the rent the rent has depreciated like we said before it has depreciated from 1 is to 13 to 1 is to 14. what could the south african reserve bank do to strengthen the value of the currency and if the reserve bank does something it sort of you know contradicts with the free floating idea because now there's a bit of intervention happening there right the the reserve bank a couple of things that they can do number one they can sell us dollars in reserve in the what in the foreign exchange market to create an oversupply so if they sell usd it will be something like this now look look the rand will appreciate to maybe 10 you see if supply was to shift to s1 uh, we have a new equilibrium which is not this one but this one here right selling gold reserves on the international market to create an oversupply so the rand will appreciate against gold obtaining assistance from the international monetary fund to increase the inflow of foreign exchange the next one increasing the repo rate to stimulate investment by foreigners in the south african economy uh, another one that i don't see here could be that um oh but it's more or less the same as this uh the the the, the south when when the government is selling the dollars they you know they they oversupplying the dollar but one of the things they can do is to buy their own currency so they can use the dollars they have in reserve to buy the rand uh, and and instead of us talking about oversupply of the dollar it could be an increase in demand for the rand so um if we sell dollars we have in reserve and use the the like we're selling them or we're exchanging on the open market we're buying the south african rand uh, by so doing we are creating demand for the rand and uh, you know what will happen the rand will appreciate thereafter the don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel we are also giving away the Distinction Bound student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and No Answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.